Hello, how can I help you today? Okay, you have an appointment. That doesn't really tell me anything. Can you be a bit more specific and tell me what it's for? What do you need? Oh, you're registering. Okay, so I'm assuming that you're going to be a transfer. You're a new student. Well, I would tell you that you're picking the wrong place to transfer to, but of course, as we all know when you move to this location, there's no other school for the next hundred miles, so this is your only option. Take a seat. I'll be the one helping you today. Let's see. I hope you brought all your paperwork to not waste your time nor mine. You think you did? Okay, what is your last name and can you please spell it for me? F Can you speak up? Okay, and what about your first name? Spell it loud and clear, please. And Let's see. Hmm, this one load. Come on, come on, come on. All right, here we go. Can you please confirm your birthday for me? Perfect. And can you tell me the name of the school in which you are transferring from to said school, which is this one? Northview Star? high school? Where's that? Okay. And what grade did you just complete or did you transfer in the middle of the year? Okay, so you've just completed 10th. You're going into 11th year. Okay. Do you have a copy of your transcripts? Please say you do. Okay, good. Thankfully. Alright, can you go ahead and get those out for me so we can take a look and see where we need to place you? Okay, thank you. Now, as well as the transcripts, I'm also going to need your birth certificate. Do you have that? It was in the packet of what you need for enrollment. You don't have it. Okay, why don't you have it? So... You went to get a passport and they took the original copy of your birth certificate but you knew that you were going to be enrolling in a new school and you didn't think maybe I should make a copy? Okay, well I'm not really sure what to tell you or how to go about you getting that but I'm gonna give you a 10 day um, timeline or I should say deadline where I need you to get that to me, okay? I'm writing it down now. 10 days for birth certificate. I need proof of that. Can't let you in without proof. Okay. Let's take a look at these transcripts. You have completed da 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 da. You've done Composition, Algebra 1, Physical Science, Geography, Spanish 1. You got a C in Spanish 1. I'm going to have to look at our grade point versus what grade point you got on that 
because our C's sometimes classify as D and when you get a D, it's failing grade here, so I'll have to check. You might have to retake that as your uh, language class. Fizzed, okay, you passed. That was worth half a credit. Big deal. Health, you got a B. Half a credit. Big deal. This says that you finished your ninth grade year with a 3.25 GPA. Hmm. Pretty impressive. Good job. I'm so proud. Let me select all these ones you've done. Composition, literature, algebra one, science, no, but you gotta be. Uh, geography, Spanish one, highlight. I'm gonna check that grade. Health and phys ed. Okay. Perfect, and then the GPA, two point, sorry. 3.25. Let's look at the additional electives that you took. Elective into programming, intro to programming. What was that like? Computer programming? Okay. And you also did an algebra prep class and that was half a credit. The intro to programming was half a credit as well. How many times a week did you take that? Hmm, interesting. This should have been at least worth a full credit, which is going to throw our credits off, but I guess we can make it work somehow. Um, let's see, and then da 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 da, da come on. The algebra prep another half a credit, so that'll at least give you one credit there for the electives. Might just have to carry something over for the rest. You don't even know what I'm talking about, so just let me talk, because you don't know. You're not a guidance counselor. Okay, so now I'm going to look at the classes you took grade 10, which you have stated has just concluded. You finished the grade. So we have world literature, one credit, you got an A. Geometry, you got a B, one credit. Biology, which also comes with lab, you got a B, one credit. Now that's a problem. I'll tell you why. Biology counts as one credit here. Lab counts as an additional half credit where you came from. Biology combined with lab is only one credit, so again, just something else to try to fix. Let me make a note. Okay, moving on. World history. Didn't you already take that? What did you take? You took Oh, guess not. Could have sworn I said that already. World history, you got an A, one credit. Spanish, two. You got a B this time. At least you passed it according to them. But again, doesn't matter what they say. It's what we say. So I'm going to check. Then you took phys ed again. Of course, you passed it. And you also did choir passed it, you got an A in choir, and that's half a point, so there's another point. One, two, three, four, five, six points. Six credits for a total of 3.45 GPA. Great job. Let me see what else you took additional over here. So with that, you also have taken a global issues class, is that correct? Okay, and that was only worth a quarter of a credit. So you took 
global issues and what is writer's workshop okay so it's just like a writing class okay and that was worth half a credit and then you also took a reader's workshop okay we don't have workshops here so don't think you're gonna be taking that that sounds like a very easy way to just slack off and not have to do much. Okay? Don't get your hopes up. Okay. And blah, 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 blah. That looks fine. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Oh, here's your grading scale for your previous school. 90 to 100 is an A. 80 to 89 is a B. 70 to 79 is a C. 60 to 69 is a D. And 0 to 59 is a big fat F. Failed. But ours is different. And I'll just have to make sure that all of your previous grades and credit fall into the categories in a line. Okay, so there's that. Great. I will type that in for your credits. Let me select those ones for year 10. Didn't you have this school fax these to us because we don't have a hard copy? Like this is a hard copy, but we need a digital hard copy because I can't make copies of these. The printer and the scanner is broken. So I'll need you to call the school and tell them to fax this, okay? Make it pronto. Thank you. And on the other ones, we did those two workshops. Well, not we. You. You did those workshops. Okay. Good. Well, I guess all we have to do now is take a look at the classes in which you qualify to take. Um, we're not going to look at language. We will assume. You know what they say about assuming. Let's hope it doesn't do that to either you or me. But we're going to assume that your language credit is good and you don't need to take another language class. With that being said, I have this whole list of classes here tons of them. Uh, we can talk about what would be best for you according to my preferences in which I think would be best for you and according to what you've already taken. But I do have to let you know some of these classes that you choose may not end up actually working out because we barely have any teachers right now. Even the gym teachers are teaching like sociology, world history, math. We give them the textbooks and they just do their best. So some of these classes may get canceled. Let's start with a language arts, okay? So just so you know, permission to be in these classes is required before registering. I'm the one that gives permission, so only I can tell you Yes, you can take that class, or no, 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 class is not for you. Alright, so, let's see. Language arts, you have already done. Can't remember because it's not that important, so let's reference. You've done world literature and composition. I'm gonna say you should probably do mythology or journalism or theater arts. Do any of those sound of interest? Oh, sorry, I don't have time to go over the description of each class and what it will entail, so why don't you just choose the one that sounds best, and then when you're home doing your own research, you can look up what that class would entail, and if you want to change your schedule and you don't want one of the classes you've chosen, just come back. We'll swap you out. So, mytholo mythology, journalism, or theater arts. 
We can also put you in newspaper. Do you like writing, like, inserts for newspapers? You've never done it, so you don't know? Okay, well, just because you haven't done something doesn't mean you say, like, Oh, no, I wouldn't be good at that. Well, do you want to do it, or do you want to do something else? Mythology? Okay. That's going to give you two credits right there for language arts, which is all you need. Next, we have to move along to mathematics. You have taken Algebra 1 and... Did you take Algebra 2? Oh, yes, you did. Over here. Okay. So, I'm going to say we should probably put you in trigonometry or accelerated math. Which one would you prefer? Or we can put you in AP statistics. Um, no, we don't have that class. You want statistics? Okay, statistics A. That class code is 32147. And that's going to be one credit, which is all you need for math this year. Okay, moving to science. Let's see. You have taken physical science and biology with lab. So I'm going to say we should probably put you in chemistry, anatomy and physiology A, or environmental science. We also do have an astronomy class. Not sure if it's going to fall through or not, but we could always try that one as well. What do you want to do for science? You want a shot at astronomy? Okay. Three, three, four, one, zero. Moving right along to social studies, you have done geography and world history. So we can put you in sociology psychology, or social economics. You want sociology? Okay. Sociology 34240. Great. Got you plugged in there. Languages, we will assume you've completed. Let's hope that's the case. Now, we do need you to choose one of these elective classes and a phys ed class. So let's look at the electives. You have business communications, advanced computer apps, regular computer apps, web design, business explorer, programming, or economics. Which one would you like? Okay, so you've taken economics before? Well, I don't see it on your transcripts. Maybe you're remembering wrong. Okay, well, just not- no, let's just pick a different one then, not economics. Do you want to do web design? People usually rave about that class, probably because the instructor, she's always so nice. Okay, we'll put you in web design one. Three, five, eight, four, five. Okay, one more class I need you to select from. These are your physical education classes. So we have athletic training, fitness activities, lifetime activities, Racquetball or team sports? Which one do you want? Team sports? Three, six, two, nine, eight. 
Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six classes that are going to equal seven total credits. Does that sound suitable for you? Okay. And what is your email address? S. Speak up. At Gmail. Okay. And I need your home address, your current home address, because this is where your schedule will get sent pending approval of all these classes and making sure we have instructors for them. Is there an apartment number or anything? Two? Okay, well don't forget that. If you don't say your apartment number, your mail won't come to you. Just a word to the wise. Okay. Perfect. Well, that should conclude our meeting. Here's your transcripts. Take them. Make sure that we get that fax. We need that in digital. Send us the fax. Call the other school. Get them over. And you have 10 days to get me your birth certificate. Or else, sorry, no, you can't come. <laughs> okay? Alright, well, thank you. See ya. Have a great, great day.